The threshold effect is probably the most used technique when it comes to shirt design for screen printing. However, I have discovered another way to achieve the same effect that allows even more control to the result at a more efficient way. So today's tutorial is gonna be about that. Let's go. Yo, what is good, Stixon? Your boy from Intuitive Designs. Let's jump straight into it. First of all, this effect works with any kind of photo. As you can see here, I got rid of the background from the Android robot and then trimmed the edges and you know, that's pretty much it and we're good to go. Um, the file size is a three or specifically 11.6 inches by 16.5 inches at 300 pixels per inch. This is the usual print size that people use for printing shirts. However, if you're using a print on demand platform like Printful or Printify, you're gonna have to go look up your own guidelines. First, we're gonna convert the robot layer to smart object and then go to image, adjustments, and black and white to turn the image into grayscale. Click on the auto button here and then just hit okay. Next, we're gonna add a solid color layer by clicking on this icon and then select solid color. Now I'm gonna go with the color in between yellow and red color spectrum, which is um, orange. I'll explain why in a moment. So somewhere around here, and then we're just gonna eyeball it and then click in the middle here. After that, we're gonna change the blending mode to hard mix. Now what that does is it limits the colors into only four channels, specifically black, red, yellow, and white, which is also what threshold effect does. Only difference is you need to find specific value for each four channels individually. So here it saves a lot of our time. Not to mention that it's live, so you can always go back and then change the effects to your liking. But before that, let's add a black and white adjustment layer. leave the default settings, especially the red at 40 and then the yellow at 60. Now, if I go back to the color field layer here, let's say I wanna bring back the eye of the Android um, and just drag the cursor around to find a setting that can achieve that, uh, which is a lot more intuitive than the classic threshold effect where you're committed to the effect each time you apply it. You can also go and add more red color, which also add more black to the design so yeah once you're happy with it just hit okay now the next part is going to add some effects to the android layer because right now if i zoom in it looks very obvious that it's a photo based image what we're going to do is going to add a few more effects to make it look more illustrated and not so i guess basic but yeah, before that, let me make it a bit darker. I feel like this looks better now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is select the robot layer, go to image, adjustments, and shadows and highlights. In the shadow section, blow it all the way up. Now what that does is it brings out the finer details in the shadow area of the image, thus making it flatter. If I repick the color, you can see that it shows a lot more details now in the darker areas. So yeah, next we're gonna go to filter, sharpen and unsharp mask to get rid of the existing grain in the image. If we set the amount around the 300% mark, you can see that it starts to look illustrated. You can also play with the radius and threshold to find a sweet spot for your image. Of course, no specific numbers because it depends on the image that you use. But for me, this one here looks very much like what I want. It highlights the edges of the armor and giving it that highlighted look. After that, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm gonna set it to one pixel only. What this does is it turns the finer noise in the image, making it bigger, giving it that stamped look. Obviously, these effects are interchangeable. You can add noise if your image lacks it, or you can get rid of one of these effects. So yeah, it's completely you know up to the kind of photo that you use. I'm repicking the color again because I want the shadow area to show up even more, which is what's so good about this effects is it's not committed and it's always live until you really fine tune it to your own perfection. 
Okay, so next part is adding colors using solid color layer. It's not gonna be the usual color overlay. It's gonna be a bit difficult to understand, but bear with me. I'm gonna start off by adding color to the darker gray area, which is this one right here. So let's add a solid color. Now I pre-selected my own colors, so I'm gonna use them. If you don't have your own color palettes, you can go to coolers.co where it can help you generate color palettes or even use the ones that are currently trending. So yeah, give it a try. All right, so here are my colors. I'm just gonna drag them into the file there. I'm gonna double click and select this color blue here and then double click on the layer itself. And under the blend if area, I'm gonna drag the cursors closer together until only the areas that we want to have the colors show up. Now it's always better to drag them as close as possible and then just hit okay. I'm gonna repeat the same steps for the next two colors. So for the lighter gray, I'm gonna create a solid color layer. Select the color of your choice, double click, and then drag the cursors together. Um, the position for this one is going to be a lot more higher than the previous one since it is a brighter gray. And then do it again one more time for the white color. Reason why we do it this way is the colors shift if we go back to the hard mix layer and then change the color settings without constantly reapplying different colors each time we change it. Now let's rename these layers so that we don't get confused. Now, let's say if I want to add another color to the armor of the robot, I can just create a new solid color layer. Let's go with purple, for example, clip it to the dark gray area because I want to apply it there. Let's just say that that and then using the brush tool on the mask layer, I'm going to apply the color to specific areas that we want. Same thing for the light gray area. If you want to add another color, I can just clip the new solid color layer and then do the same thing. So you get to add up until six different colors, which works perfect if you're screen printing, but that is just for example, I only want three colors for this design. So, so let's get rid of them. Final part is adding elements to the design. So I've chosen this sunburst image and then just put below the hard mix layer and then repeat the same steps like before. If it lacks details, just add noise. If it's too pixelated, use the Gaussian blur. It's all experimental now to achieve what you want. After that, let's add outer glow to the robot layer just to give it some ambiance. Now I'm using the brush tool set in dissolve blending mode to achieve that grain effect while just using a soft round brush. Just lining up certain parts of the robot again just for the ambience. After that let's add some text. We're gonna go with something very basic like Kuvariga. I'm naming this design cognizance. It's just a random thought. So yeah, let's see which placement it looks best. Um, I feel like this blank area here is pretty good. So we're going to go with that and then add a smaller text below it for the subtext, change the text and that is it. Let's apply the design to a shirt mockup. By the way, I am using my own mockup with the effects and settings pre-applied. You can actually download it from my store, link in the description below. But yeah, basically just select all of the layers. Option Command E to merge them into a one single layer and then go to select color range and in the drop down select shadows and then bring all the cursors down to zero tick on invert and it will select all colors but black. Now you can just command C to copy and then go to the mockup double click on the layer right here and then command V to paste it turn off the guide in the back and then command S to save. And there we go. The effects are applied to make it look like it's really printed on the shirt. Hope you learned something new today, guys. If you have any questions, just drop them down below. I always respond to all comments. Subscribe for more weekly uploads. See you on the next one.